Ever since I read the book Atomic Habits, I felt the urge to work on myself and become better at the game called life. Now here's the first question. How do you define better? I'm talking about getting rid of bad habits, enforcing the good ones, and even creating new ones that will catapult me to the next level. Within the next 10 minutes, I will share with you my ideas and thoughts that I gathered from reading this book. I'm not going to summarize it for you. I'm just going to give you my opinion and my take away from this book. So again, these are my thoughts on the material that I read and I just want to share that with you so you could possibly take something away from this and better your life as well. So first of all, what is a habit? A settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. So now that we know what a habit is, let's find out how we can actively use them to make our lives easier and better. The author mentions that all you have to do to achieve any goal in life is you have to improve by 1% per day. Just 1%. That sounds manageable, right? But there's a catch. Habits are double-edged swords. What does that mean? I'll explain it to you. I'll give you an example. An obese person didn't just wake up one day with 50 extra pounds on their body. It most likely has been a continuous small increase in body fat over a long period of time. How does this happen? Bad habits. One of which could be bad eating habits. And I know exactly what I'm talking about because I created one not too long ago during quarantine. During quarantine, I unknowingly created a new habit of ordering in food while sipping on a rum and coke. I mean, don't get me wrong, spending time with my girlfriend, having a pizza in front of me, sipping on a rum and coke, mm. here's the thing, if you do that once a month, nothing is gonna happen. But if you have three to four days per week that look like that, you're slowly creating this habit and you are transforming into that identity. What identity? The identity of a couch potato. On the contrary, drinking a gallon of water is a great habit. Not the most fun, but definitely better for your health and your physique if you care about yourself. So first big thing, how to differentiate a good habit from a bad habit. Habits that give you immediate satisfaction most likely harm you in the long term eating junk food, spending money on unnecessary things, watching TV all day. And habits that don't give you immediate satisfaction most likely benefit you in the long term. Eating healthy meals, saving and investing money, being active, working out. This was step one, identify a good habit and realize what the bad habits are. How do I enforce a good habit? The key information I got from this book on how to enforce a good habit is quite simple. Make it easy for yourself. Be precise, make the habit irresistible, take action, and obey the two minute rule. That's it, that's all you have to do. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll go through it step by step. Let's assume we wanna create a habit to change our diet, to just make it easier to, you know, illustrate the, the idea of it. So make it easy, make it easy for yourself. Start a habit of preparing breakfast the night before. It shouldn't take longer than two minutes anyways, and then you know when you go to bed, oh, I'm all set for tomorrow to start a successful day. Wow. Be precise. Let's assume you go to bed around 10 p.m. So your new habit could sound something like this. Every night at 9.30 p.m., I prepare my overnight oats for breakfast. It is important to pick a time that is manageable for you. Our bodies and minds like routines, so make sure you stick to the time you pick. Make the habit irresistible. Think of the reason why you wanna change your diet. Make that vision of yourself very clear so you see and you know why you're doing it. It's important for you to understand that prepping your breakfast before you go to bed is crucial for you to achieve your dream physique. If you're serious about changing your physique, this will definitely motivate you to make sure you prepare breakfast every night. Take action. One of the biggest things, in my opinion, is taking action. There is a big difference between motion and action. Motion would be like, I'm gonna buy a book about diet and read that entire book. Taking action would be actually eating a healthy meal. Most people just talk about what they're about to do. Don't be that person. Just take action. Obey the two minute rule. Make sure your habit doesn't take longer than two minutes. And here's what I took away from this entire concept. If a habit only takes two minutes, it's very easy to accomplish. And right after you do that, and you can do that check mark or that mental check mark, you feel really good about yourself because you did it. You created that new habit and you did it again and again and again and again. 
it's very easy and it motivates you to keep going. So you, you, feel, you feel very accomplished and this will motivate you to keep going. I want to give you one more thing before we, before we wrap this up. The human brain loves a good challenge. If it's too easy, you will get bored. If it's too hard, you might lose motivation. So you need to find a habit that you can stick with for a very long time that is right in between here. Like in, 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 in between here. Like, you know what I mean? And the moment this new habit becomes too easy and you risk getting bored with it, spice it up a little bit. Add a new habit on top of this newly established habit. Looking at my notes, I just realized that I have another 10, 15 minutes of content, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna squeeze it into this video because I, I, I think there's a lot of information already in this video. I will just make a part two in which we'll cover these topics. How to get rid of bad habits. How to habit stack how cues can trigger a habit and how you can avoid them from happening. There's a lot more information in this book um, besides you know, the 10 minutes that I just shared with you. So if you wanna read the book yourself, I have a link in the description and if you don't wanna read it, you just wanna listen to it, there's another link in there as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.